What's going on everybody? It's your boy, Elamar Dishay. And I'm just here to tell y'all, white folks up in the Midwest are rude as a motherfucker. Alright, the black folks be rude as fuck up here too. But the white folks in Iowa are rude as shit. Man, man, my nose, y'all, excuse the boogers. I've been sick since I got back here, yo. Literally, the first three days of me coming back here, I got sick as a motherfucker. My nose crusty as a shit toe right now. Anyway, let's get straight to the point, y'all. I didn't know how rude motherfuckers were until I left, moved away, and came back. Y'all, like I said before, nigga, my granny and my aunt are white, okay? My mom was adopted. Long story, I'll get to that later. But, yo, like I grew up with white, with white people in my family, right? And we've definitely had our differences. There's definitely been events where if... I ain't going to get into that right now. I'll tell y'all about that later. Anyways, I didn't realize how rude some of these older white folks were until I left and went to Dallas, yo. Like, being back here is just like... It's such a, a eye-opener. Because it's like, before I left, this is all I knew, right? This is all I knew how people acted. But, like, this shit's crazy, Especially when you black and you got tattoos like this. These motherfuckers literally look at me like I'm going to rob them. I swear to God. You don't even know how many old fucking ladies I done walked by that have clutched their purse and turned away. Like one thing about me, y'all, is I love to study body language. I love to see how people interact. You know what I'm saying? Like when I go to the store, I like to just kind of... You could say it, people watch, whatever, I don't give a fuck. I just like to study people. I don't know why, I just, I'm curious, right? But like here, like, God damn, these white folks up here are different. They, j I don't, it's the energy, y'all. Since I've been back, I went to like my nephew's game, right? Walked into the gym and I was the only black man in that motherfucker. And you can feel people just staring. And when you look at them, they look away and act like they weren't just looking at you. Motherfucker, I can feel it. I, I see you looking at me. And it's the, even like the older fucking white men up here. God, like what the fuck is y'all deal? Like if you want to, like I like to read. I like to study history. And if we really look at history, who's really the bad guy here? I'm not saying all bad, all white folks are bad. Fuck no. But it's like, like what the fuck have I done to you? To make you feel, to look at me and feel that type of way towards me. I really don't give a fuck how you feel. But it's like, God damn, di living here, y'all, is different. Like I said, I'm here temporarily. 60 to 90 days and I'm gone. Like, y'all, I live with my grandma. I ain't even gonna cap. I came back and moved in with my grandma. I needed to save up some money real quick. I had to take two steps back so I could take five steps forward, right? Like, I'm 24 I know a lot of motherfuckers that's 24 out here doing their thing. I ain't it right now. You feel me? I ain't it right now. But uh, this is more or less a, a, a video where I just got to tell y'all like the difference. Because I know some of y'all have never lived in the Midwest. Some of y'all might not be black. You might be Mexican. You might be Chinese. I don't fucking know. But living in the Midwest in these small ass farming towns, yo, it's different. The racism up here is different. They will not call you nigger to your face. They will not do it, but they will stare at you. They will give you this energy, and they control everything up here. Like the jobs and shit, man, I definitely have been to jobs where I knew I didn't get the job because I was black. There's, there, are, there are literally uh, stores up here where there's not a single black person that works in that motherfucker. Yeah, so serious. Even some restaurants, too. You go in some of these restaurants, and you just like, I know I don't, I'm, I shouldn't be in here, but like, Man, it's just so crazy because it's like being in like I never knew what, what I never knew like what it was to live in other places until I left and came back. Right? It's like being in Dallas. Like Southern hospitality is a real fucking thing, yo. It's a real thing. Like prime example. Uh, we went out to eat yesterday, and whenever I'm with my grandma, my grandma's 86, y'all. She's old. Um, I always take her hand and I, and I take her arm and I walk with her and everybody in, in my family know that like if I'm around don't even get close to my grandma cuz I'm walking with her right I hold the door I help her sit down I take her coat off everything and the way people look at me like it's like I'm like I'm mugging this old lady or something but it's like prime example of like su like there's no hospitality up here people will see me walking with my grandma and will walk in a door or out of a door and not hold it 
They'll keep walking. People up here don't say thank you for holding the door. They don't say you're welcome. There ain't no yes ma'am, no ma'am. They just fucking stare. And it's, I don't know if it's because they live in this little shitty ass box their whole fucking life, but people up here, y'all, are rude. Southern hospitality is a real fucking thing. Even like the white folks down there are nice as a motherfucker, right? That threw me off when I went down there because I'm so used to like, being, you just get treated differently up here when you black. And I'm going to say this. All black folks ain't innocent because some of these black folks up here don't know how to fucking act neither. They go out in public and they got to be loud and they got to smell like fucking reefer everywhere they go. They got to cause a scene and like just draw attention, right? So unfortunately up here, you just get grouped in the motherfuckers, right? There are literally bars up here that like some black folks go to and they fight and cause fucking scenes. So it's like if you're not that type of motherfucker and you go in there, they're going to treat you just like you one of them. You feel me? That's why I fuck with myself. I don't fuck with nobody. But yes, y'all, like, racism is definitely alive. I don't want to hear nothing about you don't see no color, because I definitely do. When I go outside, I know I'm a black man, and when I see you, I know you white, or I know you Asian. You feel me? But yo, racism is... And that's one thing. I could respect, if I'm in the South, and a white boy call me a nigger, I could respect that, because I know where you stand, right? But up here, they're not going to call you a nigger. They're going to just... I don't know how to explain it. The racism up here is subliminal. It's sinister. You feel me? It's the energy they give you. It's the way they look at you like, like you don't belong here. Motherfucker, I know I don't belong in this bitch. Y'all can have this white ass fucking cold ass shit. I don't want your fucking land here. Y'all can keep this shit. But yeah, y'all. That's all I wanted to say. Um, like I said, I have no plans. Oh, that's another thing I want to tell y'all about. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. When I went to Dallas, what I didn't tell y'all is... Nigga, I got behind on my finances. This is why I'm telling y'all this shit. Because a lot of people get on the internet and they only tell y'all the good about their life. Fuck no. My life's an open book, baby. I'm going to tell y'all the bad shit too, right? Uh, credit card debt. God damn. When I moved to Dallas, y'all, I have an understanding of credit, right? I know a little bit more about credit than maybe your everyday person, right? I just like to study. I like fucking financial podcasts and YouTube and shit. Cool. So I had an understanding of credit. Never had no credit card debt, right? But when I moved down to Dallas, y'all, I was bullshitting. Working, I worked a part-time job at some times. I tried to start a side hustle that didn't pay off, and I lost some money. Nigga, I got scammed, and I got behind on credit cards, y'all. You know how fucking much that hurt me to swipe that credit card knowing I ain't have no money on me? So, yeah, y'all. Um, I got about $5,500 in credit card debt, um, and I got about $6,700 in student loans. Which ain't bad. I ain't complaining about student loans. You know what I'm saying? Because I know motherfuckers with like 100000 I got 6700 So that ain't nothing. But yeah, y'all. My plan is to pay some of these credit cards down. Um, and then I'm getting the fuck up out of here, yo. I, I can't literally. It's Y'all can take this however y'all want. But I don't want to live around white folks. I do not. And I will not. I don't know what it is. But like, I ain't do shit to y'all. Anyways. um, Yeah. I, like I said, nigga, I, I got sick the, the, the fucking fourth day I was here, and I've been sick since. Yo, I got to go. All right? The, the universe is telling me I ain't supposed to be here. But anyways, that's all I got to say. Uh, Yeah. I'm a, I'm still going to update y'all on videos, y'all. I didn't give up. All right? I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. But, y'all, I'm about to eat this fucking fruit, take me a little shower, and I'm about to go on my day. Peace out.